all right folks welcome back to a new video or if this is your first time here welcome to my channel this is henry svtv coming at you with more gaming content and today we have a lot to talk about as many of you know already recently there was a trailer revealed for the new aliens fire team game that is coming out during summer this year however during the trailer not much information was seen or provided nonetheless my friends that has changed as recently developers on this game were on an interview while playing this video game so there are actually 25 minutes of actual gameplay published by IGN. Now all of this information that I'll be sharing in this video is pretty much a summary of what was discussed on the video. However, in case you want to check the full version, I'll add it in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. As you might already know, Aliens Fireteam is a co-op shooter game which takes place 23 years after the events of Aliens trilogy films and it is a game directed to play with your friends by building teams of three players each but it also has a single player option. The interesting part is that they have included in the game over 20 different types of enemies, 30 plus weapons and over 70 attachments. So there is a lot and plenty of things of customization in this game. They also mentioned that there will be a total of five different classes which we're going to be talking about three of them in this video and those three actually are the ones that developers use during this gameplay. Now this gameplay footage it takes place during one of the missions that are going to be included within this game in a location called Katanga. There will be a total of four campaigns with three different missions each and all of them tied together but still offering different environments. Each mission will contain different locations, different enemies that can show up in different types of settings. Now the vibe that I got from this gameplay footage was really nice. It looks very good, has great lighting, the audio is nice and immersive, not to mention that the setting for the game is like if you were in one of the movies and quote from the developers is that the team has worked very hard on making the game look very very close to the movies. But hey, let's get into the good stuff. Now within the gameplay, there were three classes used out of the five and they are Technician, Demolisher and Gunner. This video game is oriented to play strategically and that is why I understand developers have worked on very hard on making different types of difficulty levels, which will vary not only on the aggressiveness of your enemies, but also will vary in the actual way that you play it. For example, in this video that we're seeing right now, they're using the default difficulty and Crossfire does not impact the uh, players and as well supplies and resources are not so hard to come by but all of that changes when the difficulty level is changed to a higher one and that is when things can get pretty pretty interesting as you could potentially be trapped in a corridor for example and you and your friends could even end up hurting each other now let's get a little bit into details from all of the three classes that were featured in here so the technician class it basically focuses a lot on defensiveness so you'll be in charge of setting up a perimeter to protect your friends from the xenomorphs as well you'll have these turrets which you can place in many and multiple locations and charge coils to help you within this mission. You will also have this other class which is called the Demolisher. By the way it's some sort of a tank I, I consider but basically will put you in charge of clearing out as many enemies as possible. So using really nice weapons such as micro rockets, heavy weapons such as grenade launchers and flamethrowers. And the other class that was featured in this video is the gunner class which is all about the guns now you'll have great firepower at your disposition along with frag grenades and even an m41 rifle now you'll also have different types of bullets some of those are incendiary bullets which is pretty cool you know the level of details and the amount of diversity that they have included in this video game it's really capturing my attention now all of the classes will have two primary weapons and an additional slot for what i understand now for the additional slot you can include a third weapon if you want as long as it fits there from your arsenal and if you get low on ammo you can also change to a sidearm option and if that is not cool enough they mentioned that each class has two unique abilities but they didn't get into many details in regards to that however they stated that the game focuses a lot on replayability and I guess that comes into play as each player in your team has a role to fulfill each class has different ability perks and options for customization which will add a lot of different variables now let's talk about some of the different enemy classes that will be available in here remember I said you know there will be over 20 plus different enemy types and at this point I want to ask you what do you guys think of this game for what I see is definitely looking interesting and could deliver a lot of fun I can see myself being trapped in one of the rooms being overrun by the many xenomorphs coming from each angle now from the range of enemies that will be featured in this game we have brusters which are some sort of xenomorph that after is being 
being killed it explodes releasing a huge amount of acid so make sure to be far enough when you're killing these ones. As well there will be others called runners who are pretty much what the name says literally they run their butt to hunt you down alongside with others that are called jumpers uh, which have the ability to jump from one place to another and eventually get in front of you. So looks like Cold Iron Studios are really trying to build a game which is very much oriented to leveling up your classes and leveling up your weapons, modifying guns and attachments to ensure the replayability that they want to drive. And if I forgot to mention, each of the campaigns can vary in the length of it depending on your level of combat and level of difficulty selected. Other things that we can see are included in this game are a health meter for you and your team which is in the top left corner as well as a motion tracker that is seen at the right hand corner in the bottom. Now there are great animations, enemies that can take you down and there are also these huge centimeters that literally get in front of you and inflict a lot of damage. More about this game is that it includes what they call challenge cards. So there are dozens of challenge cards that you can play with at the beginning of a mission. They modify the mission by either including cool screen overlays or other options such as body shots that do not inflict damage whenever you're playing with these cards and instead you will only have to hit headshots to inflict any damage to your opponents and you know it is actually a good thing and I consider that it, this is pretty interesting to see. Additionally when you use these challenge cards and you play with them you end up getting more rewards and more experience, attachments, cosmetics and you name it. Now that is pretty much everything that we know about this game so far. A lot of details to be honest. In my opinion the game looks pretty solid although I have to say I am not so sure on the replayability part and I am not so sure how it'll play out in the end as I consider once you've gone through the four campaigns not much else is left to do uh, but I might be wrong however I consider PvP is more replayable to my opinion unless the AI in this game is something out of another level but we will see. Now what do you think of this game? Is this a game that you see yourself playing in the near future? Anyways make sure to drop a like on this video so that we can get to more people and if you enjoy this content consider subscribing and activating all notifications on for more gaming content in the future and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.